Today lecture I am going to show that 3 plus 2i divided by 2 minus 3i plus 3 minus 2i divided by 2 plus 3i is purely real. So we need to prove that purely real that means imaginary part must be 0. So let's see the answer. So first you are writing the given 3 plus 2i divided by 2 minus 3i thereafter plus 3 minus 2i divided by 2 plus 3i so here you can see this is the form of a minus b a plus b so we need to take the lcm of the denominator so let's take 2 minus 3i thereafter 2 plus 3i so this all term dividing with 2 minus 3i 2 plus 3i that come so 2 plus 3i that multiplied with 3 plus 2i thereafter plus this all term dividing with 2 plus 3i 2 minus 3i come so 2 minus 3i that multiply with 3 minus 2i after that here this 2 multiply with this all so writing here 2 into 3 that is 6 2 into 2 4 i 3 into 3 that is this 3 multiplying with this all so 3 into 3 that is 9 i and 3 into 2 6 i s square after that this 2 multiply with this all so 2 into 3 that is 6 2 into 2 minus 4 i after that 3 into 3 minus 9 i and uh, 3 into 2 minus minus plus 6 i s square and here i s square the value is minus 1 so minus 1 is the value of this i s square now the next is this is a assume a b b minus plus a plus b a minus b that is a square minus b square so 2 a square minus 3 i a square so here you can see this is uh, 4i and minus 9i ok so this cancel 4i minus 9i 9i 4i this cancel after that here this is 6 plus here 6 now 6 i square plus 6 i square and 2 square 4 3 square 9 i square then after put the value of i square so this is here 6 plus 6 12 here this is 12 and this is here 4 9 i square value is minus 1 the same thing here 12 plus 12 i square the value is minus 1 here 4 minus minus plus now here you can get 12 plus minus minus 12 9 plus 4 13 here 0 divided by 13 the value come 0 since here for purity real imaginary part is 0 so that here Hence, imaginary part is zero, so that the given question, so so that we can write above. Question P 
priority rear so this is the way we can show that this question so first write the given take the lcm do the multiply and uh, then sub cancel here you can get zero so zero is the here no imaginary part is with zero so that the above question this question is a purely real so this is the way we can show that this question so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see next week thank you